Hello students. So let's try to solve uh, a two problem from CSIR net and these and both these problem are uh, from Doppler effect of light. So obviously this is from a special theory of relativity. And uh, let me first explain what is this Doppler effect. So suppose uh, the source of light is moving with velocity v in some, let's say it is moving in x direction. And there is a observer and the relative speed between observer and uh, the source is v and light pulse is appeared to move towards uh, this particular observer with angle theta so we can also say this angle is relative angle between the speed of light and is relative angle between velocity of light and velocity of source so this is theta and nu naught is the frequency of the light pulse measured with the rest frame of, of measured uh, with the observer which rest in a frame of s so if observer will sit on s or source then he will measure this uh, frequency nu naught but if there is relative speed between source and observer then this observer will measure this frequency nu is equal to nu naught 1 minus v square c square and 1 minus v upon c cos theta and uh, this is a uh, uh, most this is one of the very fundamental uh, formula for doppler effect and obviously nu naught is the frequency measured in the rest frame of source theta is the angle between source and uh, velocity of the source and velocity of a light pulse and which is also appeared angle to this observer and uh, obviously c is the speed of light so there are two problems first uh, we will take a problem from uh, csir net 2021 okay so this problem is uh, in june 2021 and this is i think question number 33 of our uh, uh, set given in our website so this is question number 33. Let me explain this question. So there is a source which is moving away from a observer A. And let's say this speed is V. So if it is moving away, that means obviously light is coming like this, but source is moving away. So this is the first scenario. The second scenario is that there is a observer B and let's say it, it is observer B the light is light the source is moving towards so and light is moving like this so this is velocity v and the appeared frequency to a is nu a the appeared frequency is of b is nu b and it is given that nu b upon nu a is equal to 7 then we have to calculate the velocity v upon c what will be v upon c v is the speed of light with respect to both the observer so obviously let's try to calculate nu a so nu a obviously we can take nu naught is the frequency in the rest frame of source so nu naught 1 minus v square upon c square and the angle between v and c is here pi because it is moving away from this particular observer. So this value is equal to 1 upon 1 plus v upon c because theta is equal to pi. So this value is equal to nu naught root under 1 minus v upon c, 1 plus v upon c. And for the case, for the scenario of b, nu is, is given nu naught. 1 minus v square upon c square and here the angle is 0 degree because the light is also moving in this direction this source is moving towards this particular uh, b so obviously this is 1 minus v upon c and this is nu naught 1 plus v upon c by 1 minus v upon c and uh, in the problem it is given nu b upon nu a when we are going to calculate nu b upon nu a, that means we have to calculate 1 plus v upon c 
वन माइनस वी अपॉन सी बाई वन माइनस वी अपॉन सी वन प्लस वी अपॉन सी इज इक्वल टू एंड ऑब्वियसली वन प्लस दिस विल बी वन प्लस वी अपॉन सी वन माइनस वी अपॉन सी हेयर इज न्यू नॉट सो न्यू नॉट विल बी कैंसिल आउट एंड दिस वैल्यू इज सेवन सो फ्रॉम हियर वी कैन इजली कैलकुलेट वी अपॉन सी इज इक्वल टू थ्री अपॉन फोर सो दिस विल बी द एंसर so this is a very fundamental question of the doppler effect so if this type of problem will come you have to just take care of notation that what is angle theta what is velocity v and how you are measuring the angle theta with respect to observer so let's go for a second problem so second problem is again from the doppler effect and obviously again we know this is appeared frequency to Uh, this particular observer new not is the frequency measured in the rest frame of source and theta is the appeared angle of uh, source uh, this is appeared angle between the light and the velocity or this angle is also appeared to this particular where this uh, source is moving with respect to observer so let's go for another problem so in this problem there is a one nuclear source is moving with v is equal to c by 2 and detector is not in the line of so this is our detector this is source so detector is not in the line of this particular source so this is not in the line so this is away from line that means the this gamma ray is coming in this direction maybe this angle is theta so we have to calculate and this will be the frequency of gamma is new not is it is also given we have to calculate when this source will be at the minimum distance of this detector when this source will be at minimum distance of this detector what will be frequency so obviously this is the distance between source and detector obviously this will be minimum when it will come to the perpendicular to this detector means if this source will come into this position that means the velocity will be in this direction and light will be coming into this direction and obviously at the minimum this angle is 90 degree so here we have to calculate what will be frequency appear to this particular detector so obviously in this formula nu is equal to nu not 1 minus v square c square 1 minus v upon c cos theta and here theta is equal to pi by 2 and relative velocity between detector and source is basically c by 2 so v is equal to c by 2 so we can easily calculate nu is equal to nu not 1 minus this will be c by 2 we will put value of v is equal to c by 2 that is 1 by 4 and nu not root 3 by 2 so this is our frequency so this frequency is measured by detector so again you can see if you remember this particular figure and you know the particular what is this particular theta how this v is measured and what will be the relative velocity between v and observer and what will be this Uh, appeared angle to this particular observer then obviously you can solve this particular thing and this is a uh, mainly this particular phenomena when we have theta is equal to pi by 2 then we have also this particular doppler effect and uh, this is also known as transverse doppler effect this is known as transverse doppler effect and when your theta is equal to 0 and theta is equal to pi then it is known as longitudinal doppler effect which we have seen in the last problem so students you can just practice this type of problem and uh, this is a very conceptual one and the most important thing is that how you are try to remember all this uh, notation and how you can conceptualize this notation to a problem thank you